Hey, what's cracking everybody? On today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at Voyager Linux. Voyager Linux is a Ubuntu based system and uh, it has been updated and a new release was released either today, it was either today or yesterday. So we are gonna take a look at it. I'm here on their website and it says that Voyager 13 Debian LTS based on Trixie with GNOME 48 kernel 6.12 it also has an AI chat back, chatbot support five years, end of life. So it is a Debian based system and I have already downloaded it. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, head on over to the virtual machine and get it installed so we can take a look at Voyager Linux. And we are here on the virtual machine and we see right here we have two options we can either try the live ISO or we can install it so we're gonna skip the try and just go straight to the installer to see if we can get it installed that way we can take a look at uh, Voyager Linux so right now English US is selected click on continue all right updates and other software what apps would you like to install to start with we could do a normal installation or we could do a minimal installation. So I'll do the normal installation, and then we have other options. Download updates while installing Voyager, and then I'll also select to install third-party software. And right now it's currently selected to erase disk and install Voyager. I'm gonna leave it on that. All right, here's uh, what's gonna happen with your drives. Click on continue. My, uh, my location is correctly selected as Los Angeles. So I'll click on continue. Now I'll give it my uh, user info. And give it a strong and complicated password that's not one two. And I'll log in automatically. All right, and the installer is off. And for those of you who don't know, this is not the Calamari's installer. This is the Ubiquity installer. It's, almost, it's similar to the Calamari's, but it's called Ubiquity and it's a Debian Ubuntu based system installer. But uh, anyways, while this is installing, I'll go ahead and pause the video. And when we come back, we'll take a look at Voyager Linux. Okay, installation completed without any problems. It took about a good five to seven minutes for the installation to complete. And I have rebooted the system. And here we are looking at welcome to Voyager 24.04.1 LTS. So this is a welcome screen that just opened up as soon as I rebooted the system. And there's a button that says next, so we'll click on next. And help improve Ubuntu. Click on next. Get started with more applications. And then we'll finish. All right. So this is the uh, GNOME desktop environment. And on this version of GNOME, it is a little different. So you can see that uh, we have the panel that's on top. And the panel on top does have the system tray on the uh, right, but it also has the uh, date, time, and notifications on the right also. And it also has some pinned applications over on the right. So everything is basically over on the right-hand side of this uh, panel right here. So the, the system tray will consist of this one button. With, it's, it looks like three icons, but it's one button. And you can see pretty much all the, all the functions are inside of it. And then the date and time, of course, if you click on that, it's going to give you the notifications, the calendar, and you know that. But then you have right here, I'm not sure what this is, but it says private mode. Probably some other type of notification system. I'm not 100% I'm not sure what it is. And it looks like we have a mail reader here, and it is a uh, Thunderbird mail. And then we also have a uh, some type of manager. And then we have, a looks like a search. So if we click on it, yeah, it opens up a search. I'm not sure if this is a U launcher or something like that, but it is a, some type of search. All right, and then on the left hand side, you have the activities button. So, you know, clicking on activities buttons will show you the desktops and also the uh, GNOME search, which is right here. And that's on the uh, activities button. But next to it, we looks like we have an application launcher also. So, if we click on it, it does open up an application launcher. And this application launcher right here, I'm not sure from, from what desktop it's from or if it's its own, but you can see right here, we have favorites, frequent apps, 
pin dabs, accessories. Got accessories again, games, graphics, internet, office, other, sound and video, system tools, and utilities. And from sound and video and office, internet, graphics, it looks like it comes basically installed with everything you need to get started. So it's pretty much all here. You got your GIMP, image viewer, office programs. You got audio and video players. You got VLC. You know what I mean? So you pretty much, uh, you got Firefox if you want to get on the web. You even have transmission if you want to deal with torrents. You got your Thunderbird email, uh, mail client. So you got pretty much everything you need to get started. You know, everything else would just be luxury at this point. And of course, this application launcher also has a search and you have your uh, logout, lockout, you know, reboot, all your buttons right here on the bottom also. All right. And then of course, being a gnome, we have the uh, panel on the bottom and the panel right here is gonna have some uh, pinned applications, but it's also gonna have the show apps button, which is gonna be a full page app launcher. So clicking on this is going to show us all of the uh, applications or at least uh, whatever it's uh, advertised right here. So you can see right here the list of applications. Then if you click on these little bubbles on the bottom, it'll take you to the next page and so on and so forth. All right. And on the dock itself, we have a trash can. We have a box Voyager GNOME. We have free tube. We have a software uh, manager. We have the show desktop icon icon. We have a calendar. We have private. We have notes. Have text editor. Files and Firefox. So we'll start it off with Firefox. Take a look at Firefox. See what version we are using here as soon as it opens up. So let's go to the about help and it is 129.0.2 and this is Firefox and then the file manager is going to be your standard file manager for uh, GNOME and then your text editor is the same thing it's the standard text editor that you'll find on GNOME and it is the text editor, just big, plain and simple text editor, the GNOME projects, 46.3. And it looks like the file manager is still open. Did I minimize it? I must have just minimized it. But we can take a look at the about, and it is files, the GNOME projects, 46.2. So I can go ahead and close these now. And next to that, we have notes, some type of sticky note uh, application. So I guess you can leave yourself a note right here, and then you. If you close this, it'll stay up right there. But you could also trash it if you want. Bam. And then right here, there's an icon that says private. I'm not sure if this opens up the browser in private mode or if it's something totally different. So let's click on it and see what happens. Yeah, what it does, it opens up Firefox in uh, privacy mode. All right. And then the calendar. Obviously, it's going to open up the calendar self-explanatory and we can look at the about it is calendar the note project 46.1 all right now software is going to be gnome software pretty standard on gnome systems and basically if you need to install some software you know you can find it right here you can do a search there is a search button for software right here so let's say we want to look for HTOP we just start searching for it. There it is. Click on it. And then we can hit the install. And then it's going to ask you for a strong and complicated password. That's not one, two. Enter it, and it starts installing. So while that's installing, we could go back. We could uh, close down the search. And you can see right here, uh, you have the Explore option. Installed. Installed is going to show you what's already installed. And then you have your Updates button. So if you want to update your system, you can do it through here too. All right, and we did install HTOP, so you know we'll take a look at that in a sec. But right now we can look at the about, and it is software, the GNOME project, 46.0. I'm noticing that every time I click on one of these uh, GNOME uh, softwares, it keeps going down by a point. 
we started off with 46.3, then dot .2, then dot .1, and now we're on dot zero. So the next one gonna be uh, 45.9. Let's see. And that was software. Let's check out uh, FreeTube. I don't know what FreeTube is, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be some type of uh, vid something related to video. It says version 0.23.8 is now available. Click for more details. So if I guess if I click it, okay. Version 0.23.8 beta summary. This hotfix releases fixes. The this video is is available. It's unavailable errors. Okay. So let's see. We can look at channels. It says your channel list is currently empty. Let's look at trending. Uh, so basically, it looks like it just opens up uh, YouTube videos. So it's probably just a YouTube video watcher and downloader. And then I guess it probably allows you to uh, skip ads or just play videos without the ads and things like that. At least that's what it looks like to me. So uh, let me go ahead and confirm it. Let me just click on, on the video real quick, see what happens. Yeah, see, it's just playing from uh, playing videos from YouTube. But there are some errors on here that it looks like we're getting. So I don't know if we'll actually be able to even play the video. Most likely not. So I guess that kind of sucks. We'll go back to trending. Let me see what this video is about. All right, it looks like we keep getting these errors right here. I'm not sure what the errors are or why. But let's look at the about, and it is free tube version 0.21.3 beta. All right, that's free tube. And next to that, we had box Voyager known. Ah, so this is going to be like to set up uh, your uh, theming, I guess. Let me see Voyager Dark Orange. Default Voyager. Let's do the dark orange. See how that turns out. All right, you can see the icons change right here, the background change right here. Pretty much everything changed. All right, so that's pretty much set up for uh, for theming. All right, and this this right here says sticky.py. I'm not sure if this was here before or not. Let me just quit it just to get rid of it. And of course, you got a trash can that's right here. And the trash can pretty much will be everything that you delete. Should go here before you permanently delete it. Now, let me look at the about on this and see. Oh, it is files. All right. So this is pretty much a Voyager, a uh, Ubuntu Debian-based system with the GNOME desktop. Um, looks pretty good. Uh, now that I changed the theme, let me see what the... Uh, yeah, you can see the icons have changed, the accent colors have changed, so yeah. And for some reason, we have the trash can up here. I don't know what it's doing, but it's doing something up there. And we also have a conky right here that shows some basic information. But uh, I didn't see a terminal, so let me go to System Tools. Let me see, what terminal do we have? We have tilde. I'm going to assume it, it opened up full page. I, I, I don't really know. But I know we uh, downloaded HTOP. Let's open it up. Okay. Let's see if uh, we can make this uh, bigger. And you can make it bigger. You can make it smaller. But for some reason, it's like limited to this amount of area. So I'll just zoom in, uh, you know, after I edit this. Once I, I'll, I'll zoom it on the edit once I'm uh, setting up this video. But you can see right here, the memory is 1.6 uh, gigabytes in memory, and the load averages are pretty low. They're in the one dot whatevers. So, not bad. All right, now with this uh, terminal opened up, I'm trying to see how I would even close it, because I don't see, uh, let's see, this, opens up a new folder uh, I just right clicking on it and then select quit and then I click on OK and that pretty much closes it all right the trash is still doing whatever it's doing right there I'm not sure what it's doing and for some reason we have a home folder down here in this corner so let me move it up here I'm not sure why it was down here but uh, it's up here now 
Uh, maybe it was down there the whole time. I just didn't see it. But uh, I just happened to notice it right now. I just moved up there. Anyways, uh, yeah, this is a, uh, like I said before, this is Voyager Linux, Ubuntu Debian base. Uh, you can see right here it says 24.04 LTS, long-term support. So I think this is supported to like 2029 or something like this. Uh, don't quote me on that. I could be wrong. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's what it is. And it is a pretty good system, very snappy. Everything works. Uh, I didn't see any problems. Just that one, uh, you know, that free this free tube really couldn't get it to play anything. But other than that, I'm pretty sure you could just open up Firefox, go to YouTube, and pretty much play whatever you want to play. You know what I mean? So let me uh, just let me just confirm my own uh, my own uh, statement. Let me just open up a trailer real quick. Click on it. Oh, I don't know why it opened up a universal website. All right, so see, YouTube works without any problems, so that's fine. It's just this uh, free tube. I don't know why free tube wasn't working. All right, all right, you guys. Well, that's gonna do it for this video. Like I said, everything's snappy. Everything works. It looks beautiful. What else can I say? If it's something you're interested in, I'll have the links down in the video description. That way you can download it and play with it yourself. All right. If you're new to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe. If you like the video you saw, please give it a like. If you didn't like the video you just saw, give it a thumbs down. By all means, everything's fair game on Linux Hub. All right, you guys. That's going to do it for this video. And I'm out.